Good morning. This is the official start to our next custom coupe in South Carolina. And none of us are thrilled right now. And you're about to see why. Morning, Evan. I'm thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> so we got two trailers. We got our normal trailer, our aluminum trailer. Basically, we had to bring down the second trailer because we were a little heavy. We got to figure out how in the world we're going to get to where this coupe's going to go. Look at this. They're just hanging out. Hi. Well, good morning. Yeah, I want to get some pet pigs now. This is awesome. They just let them out and they can just... We're going to get nothing done. Good morning. Listen to them eat. So how do you feel about this, Evan? Uh, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be fun or is this going to suck? This is really going to suck. We're heading over to the neighbor's house and I guess we're just going to see if it's an option to back the trailers up along his prop on his property. Bill the Builder. He's the man. I, I owe him. I got to get Bill the Builder a t-shirt. He's letting us use his New Holland track unit. Luckily, we own two ourselves, so... Well, well, I'm gonna treat it like it's my own. Even better, maybe. <laughs> All this. There is a lot of coop in here. Number two load. It's a big one. We're a little full. Just shot it. How far Just off do you think it is? Episode. Corner to corner, you think it's 12 inches? AV, any guess? Nine. Nine inches? It's my favorite number. It's an inch and a half. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Action! Action. <laughs> so we're just finishing up day one and our clients walked out and not puppies, pigs. What kind of pigs are they? Juliana. Juliana. Juliana pigs. Look at look at he says they're smarter than dogs. Not to offend dog. I'm a dog lover. Don't take offense. Relax people. But it is what it is. Why not know that? Wait, wait you like your tool belt, Evan? I do. You got a new tool belt. Sir. Yeah, well, why, why did you fight me so much they, on the suspenders for all these years? I'm so happy right now. Anyways, finishing up day one. And it doesn't look like it. We got a lot done. There's the front of the hen house. And we got a lot more to do still because this, again, there is definitely the most detailed chicken coop we've ever done. Um, very, very specific. Uh, the client knows exactly what he wants, which is something that I just, I, I love because it allows us to be detailed and I hope he loves everything we're doing. I can't help, but you look like the kid again on the, on the, on the, on the bus. Don't sit next to me. Oh, please don't sit next to me. So we're thinking about doing a vlog every morning on the tailgate with Evan Archer. How's your day going today? So far, so good. So day two, backing up to the job site, our last sunny day. How many guys does it take to fix a tent? Three. Yeah. Yeah. We're fixing it and you're a supervisor. That's right. Just wanted to capture this step. I'm, I'm still trying to decide if it's right. slightly overkill. I think so. But the point is, it's what the customer wants. And that's what we love to do. So basically what we're doing is we just got done framing out the Four by six, it's on edge, pressure treated base. It's ground contact rated, so it's designed to really withstand well in very wet areas. But to take it a step further, this is something we've never done, uh, but it is a customer's request, is we're gonna put down, uh, basically it's just vinyl flashing, and we're gonna layer it right on top. So all I did is I took a roll and cut it on the chop saw with a brand new blade and probably ruined it. Didn't go as well as I thought, but. It's only uh, 10 minutes old. <laughs> uh, we're shooting in with stainless steel staples. Middle of day two. What time is it? Got too busy at work to know what time it is. Right. Good answer. What's interesting about this one is everything's completely opposite. Normally we would start back here. Here's where the main hen house is going to be, the shed area, storage area. Well, we couldn't. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this is part of the design. It's nice to finally, after probably six months of staring at this drawing to see it in real life is, is, is amazing. And we're about to join the middle. So let's see how that goes. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Wow. Look at that. You're going to catch that right there. 
That looks good. And that's gonna go to the outside there. All right, we're gonna flush all the way there. That's sweet. So we're supporting, again, all the load points right to the ground. Yep. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Yep. Coming to the end of day two, and we are finally bringing the glue lambs in. All right, where can I be this time to help? In the truck. Come on, baby, drop it. Oh, that's, I want to, <laughs> like, I could pull that down with one hand. <laughs> All right, so officially day four. That's right, what? I don't know. So we got the tarp <laughs> up over the coop. Probably won't even rain now, but whatever. Back to day four. Is it going to rain tonight? Well, it's supposed to. Is it going to rain now? Okay, now? Client brought us donuts. Very nice of him. Love that. He's very happy with the coop. Got the rest of the purlins in. There's so much going on. I can't even point it out. I don't even know what to talk about. I guess you can see we're Evan's starting to ship lap, going around the window. Sean's got all the high density in both uh, coop. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, that's just occurring to me now. So both hen houses are separated by a screen. Interesting. Not bad. This guy's thought of everything. Another drawer. This is the bigger one. This is the bigger hen house. Roof comes Wednesday. So today is Saturday. Notice <laughs> how much he loves his suspenders now. <laughs> Do it. Has anyone checked the radar lately? Oh. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Taking advantage of these big three foot overhangs. Plenty of room to work. How's the, uh, the saw's dry, but are you? Nope. How many days we've we been working on this coop? Seven or eight. No, no, no. How many days? Uh, thank you. 10 days. Does that count rain days? No, but guess what? Do the rain days cost money? Yeah. Rain days cost money. Finally, it stopped raining yesterday. We got out here, did a bunch of, almost all the ship lap. Evan's going around putting the uh, ship lap on the doors, which is a pain in the butt because all the hinges are mortised, which means he has to cut out a pocket to make a nice clean look, make sure all the lines are nice and straight. Here's the inside of the hen house, Start, starting to look good. I started a lot of electric, but I had to stop because I wanted to get going on the roof a little bit. A lot of switches, a lot of plugs, a lot of lights. That is a pretty good technique. Is that the polycarbonate from one of the windows, though? Um, it's got plaster. One of the old windows. I guess you know how long we've been here when Sean has to start wearing his glasses. Yeah, we got another week here. So this is the uh, roofing. This is my first time putting on standing locking seam. But the whole concept behind standing seam is it's a metal roof system designed so if done right you see zero hardware all i can say is it will be worth it it is starting to look really really good anyways all right, i gotta go back to work how many days do you think we got left three you going with three evan i'm going with three <laughs> how many days we got left there's the coop getting there how many days do we have left Go on, how many days? How many days? How many days you think, Sean? Nobody wants to answer this question. I did. Yeah, great. Five days. Five good, solid days. Guaranteed. Going to work. <laughs> it's cold, so Evan's keeping his head warm. That's right. So, finishing up day, I don't even know anymore. We're slowly getting there, and yesterday we finished I think it was yesterday we finished putting all the roof panels on both sides. The manufacturer calls for this. But here's the problem, one, it doesn't look good. It's not horrible, but I'm not in love with it. But as I did it, way up there I realized, because that rib goes all the way into there, it's a funnel, you're gonna trap water. So it's just not gonna work with a style roof where it goes up like that. All right, so the doors are on. I gotta do all the electric yet. Evan's putting the windows on. Got the hen house cleaned out, almost. All right, here we are, down inside the duck house. Duck dippers right there, gas truck, hey, test. Man. Our duck oh, houses. New Airbnb. <laughs> oh, I so could sleep here. <laughs> All right, go ahead, do it. Oh, so that's kind of loud. I'm gonna push up. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. Is that gangster? Outside shot. 
We have an archer, everyone. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm good. <laughs>